okay let's have a look at what is on the front of the board this is just the section where I try and figure out I've not had a look at the user manual or any documentation that is available I've just had a close look at the board and that is an STM 32F405 this one is an MPU 6500 that's SPI that's what I guess if I'm wrong please correct me in the section below with the micro USB port here this looks like a spectrum satellite port there's the boot button as I had told these look like servo headers or ESC headers with the signal here pretty standard the ground on the outermost rail and the 5 volt uh, in the center quite a few of these test pads which we see here again uh, not too sure what they are I'll try and figure out on this side we have quite a few unnamed headers uh, and they grouped in a little four uh, sets of four which is a little confusing last one grouped as set of three and uh, on the pads here this says channel 2 channel 5 6 and oh this is this is a little confusing here but I think we'll get some documentation on that but somewhere by the way there's this is something that is very strange that the board has a really small mark right beside the USB port here which shows that the arrow is that way so with the USB port facing forward that is a really strange configuration I don't see any other symbol of which way is the orientation of the board correct uh, this could cause some problem when we are setting up the quad if we do not know which way is forward uh, but we'll have a look we'll turn over and see what is on opposite side there okay before we go to the opposite side there seems to be one LED here one LED here and that's about it a couple of passive components pretty much no more no other components on the side turning over I'll just check if we are still in focus I'll probably hit the refocus once again yep and let's have a look what is on this side I am trying to set it up for the camera yes that is a good look yes this is this is a flash chip this is on the component side there is the 5 volt regulator I read somewhere before I bought this that it's for good for something around an amp but some people say they have they're having problems with using VBAT directly on this but this uh, the back side the reverse of the board brings in quite a few interesting things first thing here this right here the first set of three headers on this on the ESC header side is not an ESC header it says S bus or PPM so seemingly the first ground 5 volt and S bus PPM is for uh, using either S bus or PPM receivers and here I think okay I think I turn that around or is that yes so so that you can probably read it I try and refocus once again no doesn't work yes works really nice uh, pin out here there's an LED strip 5 volt ground not connected buzzer plus minus VBAT and ground so we'll have to check if if that these are the two VBAT pins which are directly connected to the the voltage regulator and what sort of voltage divider is there or how they're measuring voltage we'll have to check all that but 
more on that later on here we see uh, this is this is a little confusing here and then the print is really small and I must say the silk screen on this is not really the best I would have seen but seems to be that there is an RSSI if I'm not wrong or and there is RX3, TX3 so I think these are the, the, the groups of four right down there like that which is like the TX3, RX3, Crown, so these are UART ports. There seems to be another UART port around here, it says RX6, TX6. Then there is TXRX again here. And there is another pin which says VBAT. Or I am reading it wrong, but maybe it's UART. But it's VBAT, I think it's VBAT this whole thing is 5 volts so I'll have to do a little bit of poking around with a multimeter and probably we will have better idea about what's on each of these pins because there's very less documentation on this and there seems to be quite a few versions of the board doing the rounds this is an F4 board it's pretty new uh, supposedly comes preloaded with race flight we'll see and as usual there are a couple of quite big pads here which is this V bus ground I can't make out what's written here as I said the silk screen is not really the best I've seen but okay works we'll see we'll fire her up and see 